Hello, welcome to another video. So today we're just going to sort of take an un unscripted run through iPad OS 13, the public beta 4, um, and just see how we'd get on with it, especially as replacing a laptop as your primary sort of device for when you get out. So let's pop open the home screen here. Okay, so here we are my home screen. I have my widgets here to the left that all sync with my Microsoft 365 account, so things like notes, calendar, reminders all use my Microsoft account that way I have Microsoft launch on my Android phone so the widgets that you see here will also be on my home screen on my Android phone that way everything's nice and synced together and I don't miss a reminder or a note that I need to be aware of um, so you've got your dock at the bottom here which you can access within any app by just quickly swiping up no oh, wrong one swiping up a little bit of the way um, and then to get home swipe up a bit further and then to get to your recent apps, swipe up and just pause for a second and then it will open up your apps like that. So they also have now introduced a dark mode. So if you go into display and brightness, you can then pop open your dark mode. I do like the dark mode and I would use it as my default, but they haven't, you know, some of the widgets haven't sort of been updated yet. So things like OneNote looks a bit out of place there and I just, yeah, until it's, <laughs> it's all nice and tidy, I'm not going to use it. I'm a bit funny about things like that. So, Safari is now the by default the desktop version. So if you open up an app, you are going to get the desktop version of the app, not the mobile version. And it also now lets you download a file. So if for any reason you ever wanted to download an ISO, it would then pop open here. And then you could cancel that and it would be in your files app here now in downloads. So you can now do a tiny bit of Sort of file management on the device. Let's get rid of this. We don't want this. Can we do it from here or do we have to go clear? Okay. Um, what I just did then as well is I swiped left from the bottom, which will let you very quickly go to your last ones, you know, and just cycle through your open apps like that as well. So let's go back home. So the apps I use for the most part to sort of replace a desktop or a laptop environment are Outlook and I use Outlook because again I use it on my desktop I use it on everything apart from my Linux devices unfortunately I have to use the web app on my Linux devices um, and I just use that for my calendar as well because I actually prefer having a calendar and email app all in one really and I'd quite like to get my notes here as well the same as what you'd get on the desktop version but you don't get that you have to have your separate notes here which I also sync with my Microsoft account. Um, with the Apple Notes, you can actually um, let's use the pen. You can't use the pen on the Microsoft Notes inside the Apple Notes app, but then you just have one note for that, which is again another app I've been using a lot, especially since I have the pen. So let's just go out of this. Where's that note gone? I've lost it. I've probably moved. There we go. So here's just a few notes that I made while I was preparing to do this little video just to talk about some gestures and the apps that I use a lot. Um, but it's, yeah, I'm using a pen, it's what it seemed like a gimmick to me at first, but I've, I've really been enjoying it a lot. Um, and they've now, I think, reduced the latency to about 9 milliseconds. So you, you can barely see any lag now when you're using the pen. Um, so, yeah, really enjoying the pen. Um, obviously you've got Word now, um, I wouldn't really suggest using an on-screen keyboard to do any long form documents at all, just quickly to jump in and edit or view a quick document would be fine. And there you go, as you can see autocorrect will save the day here, 9 times out of 10. Um, the keyboard cases are alright, I don't tend to use one as much as I probably should, but the keyboard shortcuts all work, so alt tab search all works as you'd expect um for music i tend to just use vlc and then go into cloud services and i have all of my music and every sort of media all in my onedrive account and then i sync it all through there and i don't really keep a lot a lot of local files on the ipad's storage um <clears throat> i do have the cellular version so i have a bit of data but i share that data with my phone as well so between the two devices i have about 60 gig a month which is okay with wi-fi i don't you know i don't tend to need more than that 
Right, so let's just pop open that note that we had open. So what have we talked about? Have we had a look at files, of course. So the files app's been greatly improved. As I said, I use OneDrive for most of my cloud storage because I have an Office 365 account, which gives you one terabyte. So again, all my things on my ebooks, music, it all it all gets downloaded into my OneDrive account and then I can access ebooks just using the Apple Books app, it just pops it open there. Um, I think we spoke about the downloads already. Um, I still use tags. Don't know why it's not tagging my work stuff. Maybe I need to re-tag my OneDrive stuff because I recently updated and I think it took it out. And I'll do that later. So let's get back over to here. Okay, I think we spoke about most of that. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool all in all. Um, would it be able to replace a laptop? I think it depends on your use case, doesn't it? If you're just web browsing and sending in your email and using it for Facebook and other social media, I think that'd be brilliant. The minute you want to do some serious content creation on it, I wouldn't advise it. I mean, you could, it's, it's got things like iMovie and GarageBand and, you know, similar apps like that available on the App Store, but it's not quite there yet. Is it? I think that's what, you know, desktops and laptops are for. If you want to be that guy, though, it's sure it's achievable. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to talk about here. So um, I use Termius a lot on here for my, just for the Mac at the moment. I haven't added my other devices to it, but it's just an SSH client, so I can just jump into my SSH client like here and just yeah thank you for watching the video if you enjoyed what you saw please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one bye